This is Science Friday. I'm Ira Flato. We're talking with the Vice President Al Gore. His new book, The Future, Six Drivers of Global Change. You've been you've been writing all these books. You are the lightning rod for anything about the environment. Has, has anybody been converted? And, or do you care whether climate deniers what they think? Or is oh, it not important? Course. Is it not important anymore? No, it is it is important uh, because the conversation ha- has to be won. And uh, the forces of denial, which are lavishly funded by the large carbon polluters and, and some ideological groups, ha- have intimidated many in the news media uh, into remaining silent and not speaking out. Just uh, as an example, look at what happened last year. 2012 was the hottest year in American history. 61% of our country was in extreme drought. It knocked Mm -hmm. a full percentage point off our GDP. The largest record fires in the West, the largest West Nile virus outbreak ever. $110 billion in climate-related disaster damage, uh, including, of course, Superstorm Sandy, uh, which devastated parts of, of this city and New Jersey and Long Island. Uh, and yet, in spite of that, with more presidential campaign debates than ever in history, not a single journalist asked a single question to any of the candidates in any yeah. of the debates. It's almost like a family with an alcoholic father who flies into a rage if alcohol is mentioned, and so the rest of the family decides to keep the peace by never discussing the elephant in the middle of the room. And and that is what the deniers have attempted to accomplish. Talking with Vice President Al Gore, author of The Future, Six Drivers of Global Change. Um, A lot of people will say, uh, well, I'm hearing it from Al Gore, and I don't like Al Gore, so I'm not going to listen to Al Gore because he represents this administration. You know, and that's why I asked you before. Can you ever win over the people who just don't like hearing it coming from a Democratic president or someone like yourself? Do well, they need a, to be won over, or can you go without them? There's a there's a voice far more powerful than mine, uh, or even uh, pa- more powerful even than the voice of the president, and that is Mother Nature. Do you think about sci- technology as an answer to many of these problems, or is it going to take more of a personal motivation by somebody to get involved? Is it, leave well, it, it will take both. It will take both. We have the technologies available now to start solving the climate crisis and many of the other big challenges that I, I describe in this book. Uh, we can benefit from further advances in technology, and they are coming. We've never had a, a time when we were going through so many revolutionary changes simultaneously but yes, in answer to your original question, there will have to be uh, an assertion by us, the citizens of the U.S. and us, uh, those of us who live on Earth, to preserve human values by making choices uh, about the future instead of just letting uh, the invisible hand in the marketplace and technological determinism sweep us along willy-nilly.